Welcome to State of Prime. It's time to prime the mind, body, and spirit so that you can always stay in a state of prime. Let's get primed. Welcome back to State of Prime, guys. Today, I want to just talk about some um, insights around the the morning or the am the the rising of the sun and how i've noticed i can get so motivated to do stuff when it's not the morning but when it comes i'm like i'm like half dead if that makes sense it's like i don't know if it's the the hormones associated with sleep still you know, rumbling and tumbling throughout the body, but it's like, man, I just, it's like a car, I gotta rev up, man, get get the car warmed up, but I bring it up because yesterday I had some um, heavy revelations around, um, you know, solidifying more of the internal arts that I've been practicing, such as uh, certain physical training, mental, so really just the meditational and um, yogic practices really honing in on those in the morning and just going out into the cold because it's actually cold now but even in the summertime it's a little brisk but not really cold but um just pushing myself and I said well you know what I might as well go ahead and buy a barrel and start doing the cold plunges in the morning and I woke up this morning thinking what in the hell was I thinking like not even and I haven't even done it yet. And that's how crazy it is. And so I feel like for us in regards to staying prime, knowing that you're going to face those moments, like because you're motivated in one instant doesn't mean that you're going to be motivated in the next, so to speak. Like you have to, you got to be aware of that. And for me, that's that's what it was. I was like, you know what? I'm not really, not really feeling it. This morning, I have to be aware of that. And so, yeah, we're going to definitely move the um, the cold plunges to a different part of the day just so we can be more consistent. But the premise of today's episode, guys, is knowing yourself and also within the morning doing something hard. The proverbial eating the frog, doing the hard thing in the morning. And what is that for you? Because I feel like doing that sets you up to glide through your day if you're doing the hardest thing first. But before you do those, some hurdles that I'm, I'm sure you've experienced in, in your own personal ways is be aware that you're not going to wake up motivated all the time. Maybe sometimes, but there's going to be days you wake up, you do not want to do it. And so creating a structure and minimizing all of the, the thought energy behind it so that you don't have to um, think heavily about it and what I mean by that is setting it up to where your clothes is ready if you have some if you like to make tea like I do having your tea blends and your herbal mixes already prepped having your um, uh, your laptop or whatever it is that, that you do in the morning having it ready your glass of water for when you you wake up just being ready that for me has helped me this morning, I woke up, none of that was really ready, not as much. I had my tea and whatnot ready, but I had to wake up and start making decisions. And when you get to that point, you're already setting yourself up having to use energy. So minimize the energy that you're expending on thinking about what you have to do and eating the frog in the morning. What is it for you that you're doing? For me, it's going out into the cold and doing my, my internal arts. It was going to be cold plunging, but I got to be realistic and work up towards these things and also be aware of the time um, structure that I have in place and if I have that time. So that's going to be it for today, guys. That's how I'm staying primed within that regard, addressing the um, the hill, if you will, of having to pass. You're going to have the hills that you have to go up and you're going to have to exert a lot of energy. And when you do have to go up those hills, um, what's the word? Hypothetically, when you have to go up those hills, 
you want to minimize all the baggage that you're carrying up that hill so you can get up that hill easier. And the baggage in this example is <clears throat> the having to make decisions, thinking about what you have to do, let go of all that baggage so you can get up the hill that you need to be. And then when you get to the top of that hill, right, eating the frog in the morning, now it's downhill from there. The rest of the day, things are not easier, but they're simpler. They're simpler. So with that, my fellow primer, until the next one, stay primed. And I'll talk to you in the next one.